Our correspondent Duncan Slightholm. So, um, Duncan, what's been the reaction there? Well, it's certainly been an unusual atmosphere across the site from first thing this morning. We had Michael Evis came on stage, who of course had asked us all to vote to stay in. He said the day was gloomy for several reasons. Damon Albarn, the singer, came on the pyramid stage and said democracy has failed us. And there's even been a poem posted up around the site that says this is a day that none of us have felt less British. Now, of course, there are 175,000 people on this site. We can't speak for all of them, but everybody I've spoken to said the same things. They were devastated, they were disbelieving, and they were disappointed. As they make their way to the main stages today, people have more on their minds than the mud and the music. The result of the referendum taking many by surprise. I just generally felt devastated, but not just for myself, but for the younger generation. It's, yeah, it's not good at all. Not happy. It's like, who wants to bring a kid into this generation? Like, it's, there's, there's no outlook. I don't, I don't think it's all for the worst. It's a rather gloomy morning for several reasons. The, the opening of the other stage was delayed because of mud. Michael Evis cutting the ribbon late and reflecting the mood of many. A poem posted around the site ends simply, We'll miss you, our little mate, the EU. It's really weird. You feel suddenly like, I don't know stripped back of the power. We were so convinced it wasn't going to happen, so we all voted, we all campaigned, but yeah. Well, I don't know, it was ridiculous what's happened. So many stupid people in this country, I can't believe we left. Thank you for sealing our future. Perhaps people here see the future differently from others. A generation lost in a field for a few days, but still in touch with reality. The nation has decided, leaving some here feeling uncertain. Duncan Slito, ITV News, Worthy Farm. It has been an absolutely incredible day, it has. hasn't it, watching those events unfold. Uh, coverage of the